What's up? I'm Lindsay. And I'm Kaylee. How's your life? How's your choices? They're probably the better than ours at this point. Not gonna lie. That's not really all that hard, though. I mean, that's true. So we thought, since everybody's kind of going back to school right now, a lot of you could probably use a pep talk. And we thought, hey, we kind of survived the education system in America, so why don't we give some great advice? We'll see how that goes. Or mediocre, somewhat not helpful at all advice. It could go either way. Yeah. Ayy. Ayy. So what do we want to start with? What do we want to start with? Um, high school is important. You gotta finish it. High school, middle school, everything that's mandatory that you can get like in legal trouble with for not attending is important. As much as it sucks, and believe me, I know it sucks. And there are some days where you're like, why am I doing this? This doesn't make any sense, and it's stupid and probably not important. I'm never gonna use this. And that's you're true. still going to need it. Physics is also a very important thing. I know that everybody says you're never going to use physics in the real world. Physics is the real world. Unless you live in full metal alchemist world, you're going to need physics. What else is actually important in life? Hmm, kind of good to know history, you know. Vaguely, I mean, it does make it easier to write historical AU fanfiction. And English makes it easier to write grammatically correct fanfiction. And biology makes it easier to write scientifically correct fanfiction. But back to history, <laughs> it'll also help you know what Hitler did wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes. Words to live by, don't be Hitler. <laughs> don't be Hitler. But anyway, people suck. And who you are in high school isn't who you are gonna be for the rest of your life. And you're never gonna be that person again. And you just kind of have to accept that you're stuck there for now, but that's not the rest of your life. Also, I'd like to point out that as much as you think Britney sucks, you probably suck just as much. Everybody in high school sucks. That's... Yeah, I fully admit that the person I was from the age of like 12 to about 17 makes me cringe. Like, I never ever want to meet that person ever again. And that's good. Like, that means I've grown. I'm a better person for it. And I got my... Diploma, so I would have probably punched myself in the throat several times. You know what? There are parts of high school that are good, and they, you remember fondly. And then there are some things that you really liked in the moment that you look back on and you're like, wow, she was a mistake. They're I mean, there for a reason. I mean, they help you grow. I mean, even if you end up resenting that person, they made you better. They made you maybe realize not to do something because it hurt you. As far as higher education goes, we're probably not the best advice thing because we both dropped out this year. I will say, the nice thing about college, I mean, at least for those of us who get to go away for college, is that you do live on your own for the first time. And while it's difficult, it's also the most wonderful, wonderful thing in the world to be able to make yourself mac and cheese at 2 in the morning and have nobody complain. What I will say is that I grew a lot personally this past year. I was living on my own and stuff like that, but the actual higher education part... People will probably hate me for saying this. I think it's kind of a waste, and that's just saying you're paying $80,000 for a piece of paper that isn't actually going to help you that much in the long run. I, mean, I saw this thing on Tumblr yesterday, and I just... It made me laugh, and it kind of made me die inside because it was so true. It said, study what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life, because the field you're interested in isn't hiring. That is so true. That's very true. <laughs> and that's not to say if you know what you want, then you're going to want to go for some degrees. I mean, people who know in their hearts that they want to be a doctor or a lawyer or a CEO, uh -huh. of course you're going to need college. I mean, I'm not necessarily discouraging every single person from going to college. Just if it's not for you, don't go because you think you have to. I mean, that's where I was at. I was never someone that liked school. I never enjoyed the atmosphere. That's never how I learned. And literally the only reason I applied for schools and went was because I thought that was what I was supposed to do and what would make my parents happy. For me, I mean, I thought I liked school and it turned out I mistook liking school for just being good at it. And I'll admit, I was pretty good at school. I also worked my butt off at it, so yeah, I did decently. But then I got 
to school and I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really want to do this, you know? I was studying microbiology and I loved science in high school, but it turned out I didn't love it that much. Also, the hours I had to spend ripping live insect heads off kind of turned me off just a little bit. But in all honesty, like, I wish it was a normal thing in America to take a gap year because I feel like that would have changed my mind a lot. I wouldn't have just decided, pulled a random major out of the hat and been like, I'm gonna do that because that has jobs that pay a lot, right? I, I don't really want to sit in a Walgreens pharmacy for the rest of my life. I didn't really know who I was and I just kind of rushed into a major because I was like, hey, you could probably get a job there and it was all safety net and it wasn't something I actually wanted. I can promise you that going in and taking a safety net degree is not going to be better for you in the long run. You're going to have a lot of debt and you still won't be doing what you want to do. But we're not saying don't go to college, we're just saying don't do it just because you're told to. Really? What I'm saying in all of this is that you're not the same person in high school or even in college that you will be in the rest of your life. Because up through high school, you're with a bunch of people who have preconceived expectations of who you are, a lot of times because they've known you since you were a child, and that's definitely not who you are. And then in college, people just expect you to have a certain attitude, but you get to choose who you are in the rest of your life and it's a lot easier once you are outside of those expectations given to you by school because that's just the way the system works. Yeah, when you get out, it sounds really cliche to say this, but it gets a lot better. Go and do whatever you want. Anyways, if that helped anyone at all, how about you hit the like button down below and subscribe to us. I'll put the look links to our social media down below. We should have another video next week and until then, goodbye! <laughs> I just, I, I know we both phrase it like this, but it's like we say stuff like when you get out, like this is prison. Okay. <laughs> Which it is, kind of is. It is. Okay, anybody who has experienced the American education system knows, knows it's prison. It's yes. literally prison. Like, it's like an imprisonment of your person. Well, it's not just that, but. They, like, have the security guards patrolling all the time. There's chick fights all Mrs. the time. Filch and Mrs. Norris. That's what we called our security guards in high school. <laughs>